Voilà, nous avons participé un petit peu à, à la navigation avec Lars et, et Suzy et le, son petit et, enfant. Et Thury. Et Thury qui est avec nous. Et alors, euh, nous prenons ici une bière en France, la première ville française de Givet. Et pour traduire le nom du bateau, nous avons dit « La, la vie, vie est belle, belle. suivez-nous suivez !» Chin Yeah <laughs> the first part of France in there, Dennis, was really beautiful. And we met these two guys from Holland who was on a kayak expedition just like us. Down through France we saw a lot of small beautiful villages and old Greek buildings. So come and take me, come and all in all, we did 274 lock gates on the way down through Europe. Some of them were manually opened, others automatically opened with a remote control. And some days we had our own private lock keeper coming with us and opening bridges and lock gates for us. Where are you going? How does it work? Yeah, they're up, they're in. They're up, they're in. We were taken really good care of by the Vienna, the lock company. And sometimes they had a whole crew of people welcoming us to a new region. Coming to the Rhone, we were not allowed through anymore, only 13 lock gates to go. With the help from Light there, his friends and family, we managed to get an engine and we traveled like this. In and out of the lock gates with the engine on. Many great campsites in France and we slept on five islands. We also had a visit from friends and one night Thierry stole all the mattresses, he wanted to have a comfortable sleep. Because so so Susie's sister suddenly decided to get married, we had our kayak stored at the VNF headquarters in Raas for 10 days. Thanks to Lawrence, we had a good time, he brought us coffee in the tent, never tried that before. And we tried to hitchhike our way back to Holland without success. Two times, eh? Two times. Oh, are they still there? On my way. And if I eat it? For the whole month of September, we did different challenges to raise money for Neuro International. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. We like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Do, 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 do. Hi, this is Tony Terry. Is that me?
Aline was her lock keeper for one day, and she invited us home to the family house. Levi just lost a tooth that day, and in the evening the brother was telling us the story about the mouse that comes to pick out the thieves in the night. This was also the first time in a long while that we had a roof over our head. Here are some of the fantastic people that we have met on the way. I'm sorry, but I haven't got photos of all of you, but you've made the trip so much better. Another great experience was meeting Sebastian and my parents happened to be there right at this time and we could celebrate sleeping on a boat for the first time with real champagne. Hey! Hello. Sorry Champagne? Paddling this part because there's a lot of green stuff in the water. It actually means that the water is getting cleaner. Um, less people are dumping their shit into the river. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun along the way, but there's always been time to make some homework yep. as well. Yeah, I Three hundred and forty meters above sea level, we travel through the longest tunnel. And Tiyuri was telling ghost stories along the way. Quatre Danois, le papa, la maman et les deux enfants. Ils sont partis il y a quelques mois déjà de Copenhague. Via... We also made it to the newspapers and television a couple Ils of times. Ils ont quitté à lundi. La famille Simonsen, Lars et Suzy. And a fun interview by Smacking Fist. Let's go. We had lots of fun on the canals and great experiences but reaching the sea again was fantastic and the first couple of days in the Mediterranean Sea were really great. Celebrating Liba's birthday on the beach was special. Uh. Philippe and his uh, kayak friends are coming out to... In Marseille we loved the bad weather. Together with Philippe and Helene we had four awesome days. Got to meet Jessica Fox. The kids went to school. We had the best send-off. And from Marseille and onwards to the border, we hardly ever used our tent. Through the Kalank National Park, we were escorted by Philippe with his kite. Thierry got the taste for a real kayak. He wants one for Christmas. Philippe introduced us to Sean Shack. We stayed on his boat and he pulled us around Cap Shishi. The 
last week in France we had everything in days with big waves and wind to rain and beautiful sunny days. We had a fabulous welcome to Monaco by Michael and the Yacht Club. We felt like kings driving around in Monte Carlo and having our first night at a hotel. <laughs> oui, you are the fox. <laughs> <laughs>